glad you've made the decision to be with us. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore, and we're glad to be bringing you action and welcoming you to the New York City Arena here in Midtown Manhattan for tonight's main event. Scheduled for 15 rounds among heavyweights. Boy, and we expect this to be a big night of action. We spoke with both fighters yesterday. Fireworks anticipated here tonight. Let's see. Holmes's focus is front and center as he makes his way to the ring right now. Vitaly Klitschko is so attentive when it comes to this moment here. This is where everything he's done, all the hard work he's put in, comes down to one singular moment of concentration. We went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. Round number one is now underway. All the talk is done. It is simply time to fight. We're underway here. We've been talking in the lead up to this fight about who has the advantage with the speed. Well, we know who that is. As for his opponent? Well, his opponent's going to have to come up with something else. And what he's going to have to come up with is timing. You know, timing can negate speed. How so? Well, just making sure that before your opponent starts, you time him. You beat him to the mark. You're not as fast as him. But guess what? The good news, this is not a sprint. This is a boxing match. You can beat him to the mark. All intents and purposes, you're faster. Vitaly Klitschko's punch didn't come close. <laughs> to the head he goes with a left hand. Not hitting his mark there, going upstairs. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Vitaly Klitschko. Oh, what a left hand. He is stunned there, and now he ties up. He ties up, and he was allowed to tie up, and that's what he's going to be sorry for, the other guy, that he allowed himself to get grabbed. Let's see some more head movement. talked with Vitaly Klitschko all week long. He told us the key to this fight is his jab. He just delivered a good one there. A nice jab by Vitaly Klitschko. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Vitaly Klitschko doing what has done so much damage to all his opponents, landing a good, solid headshot. And doing it at the right distance, using that jab to set it up. Teddy, I don't think he's got visions of sticking around too long. He's landed power punches early. Yeah, he wants to make it a quick night's work. Vitaly Klitschko's damage. Can you believe this? Each man has hurt the other. Commits to the straight right. That's the kind of round that tells you all you need to know about what kind of fight this is. Back and forth action, both guys hurt. 
That's the kind of round that you better make sure that you did all your work in the gym, that you're in shape, because more to come. Don't just walk him. Walk him with head movement side to side. You gotta watch the water in the corner. Too much. Vitaly Klitschko is doing a good job of being strong on his feet right now. He was rocked in that last round, but his opponent doesn't appear to be seeing any damage. He got caught by that right hand. He never saw it coming. He may be looking to clinch here. Vitaly now appears to have his feet underneath him again, Teddy. Yeah, he's okay right now, but the most important thing is I'm in the corner. I'm telling him exactly why he got hit so it doesn't happen again. What do you think is Vitaly's best asset? I think his awkward cleverness, you know, he can fight on the outside for the most part. He'll take what you give him. Uh, his control range pretty good, but he can fight inside. He can engage you a little bit if you have to, and he throws a lot of punches. Targeting a left hand down low. Holmes is nailed by a huge hook. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. There's a straight right hand. And now he's targeting upstairs. He just looks exhausted to me right now. Vitaly Klitschko's accuracy is non-existent. This guy cannot punch a solid target right now. No, but what this shows, he's missing so many shots. We always think about the damage done when they land. This is showing you the damage that's done when they miss. You get discouraged. You start giving in. Holmes is tagged by that powerful hook. What an impact that left hand just made by home. Blocks that belt line well. Final 10 seconds of round number two. And that's the end of round two. Vitaly Klitschko's pure aggression got to his opponent in that last round. He looks fresh, his opponent doesn't. Listen, you need to move your head more, side to side, okay? I want to see that head be moved. Well, he got caught by a lucky punch in that last round. It did do some damage, but now you can tell he's right back where he wants to be, fresh and ready as we start this round. I don't take lightly when a guy gets dropped, but you know what? I think he was more embarrassed than he was hurt. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? Not able to land the headshot. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. Vitaly Klitsch goes on the bad end of a very impressive hook up top. Yeah. 
Vitaly Klitschko has varied interests. He was a kickboxer at one point early in his athletic career and also a fairly accomplished chess player. Well, people have said that boxing is like chess, except it hurts a little bit more. And <laughs> it is about making moves and staying one step ahead of your opponent. So in that way, if you physically can match it up, you know, with the intellect, obviously that can be a little bit of an advantage. Survival mode, not something you were used to talking about with Vitaly Klitschko, but he's doing it here. And he has to, and it's something that a fighter always has to be prepared to do in that ring. A piercing jab by the assassin. Nice block by Holmes. Vitaly Klitschko's got a bad cut now that's opened up on his cheek. That's a clean shot, able to get in with the right hand. He just drew the punch from his opponent and then a good counter by the assassin. Yeah, like running through the rain without getting wet. Beautiful. Good way to protect the midsection. Last 10 seconds of round number three. That was a fine block by the assassin. And this round comes to an end. Bang the head and the body, all right? There you go. Down to over again. You need to capitalize on his misses, okay? I want to see that counter hook. Make him pay for his misses. Okay, listen. I need you to throw three punches. Combinations. Vitaly Klitsch goes up a round here after three rounds on Teddy's scorecard, but really nobody has distinguished themselves to any great amount so far. See, that's some fine defense right there. I love that block by Holmes. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. He's committing to the work downstairs. He puts forth a right hand. Oh, and they decide to trade there. Keep working the box. Good block. That's a tough guard to break through for Vitaly Klitschko. That defense is so sound. Vitaly Klitschko's keeping his guard up very, very well. Teddy, does it help to have the speed that he has? Uh, sure. Anytime you have speed and you can put it into the equation where whatever you're doing, it has to be technically right, but now you put speed, you're doing it even better. You're doing it at a higher level. over that hook and he does damage upstairs. <laughs> Effective work with that flush overhand right. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Teddy, why is it in boxing that there are so many distinct styles 
that are defined by geography or culture or ethnicity, where we have a Mexican-styled fighter, an Eastern European, you know, upright fighter, an American-styled fighter. Why is that? Because you are influenced by your surroundings, by the temperament of the people in your surroundings. Aggressive people, aggressive style. Very thoughtful people, people that are very cerebral. Well, you're going to have a defensive style. You're going to have a very careful style. It's going to fit right in. Little head hunting with the left. Fourth round now with its last 10 seconds. And that's the end of round four. Vitaly Klitschko's corner has to keep him calm. That's the kind of cut that can send a fighter into fits. Yeah, and a corner man into using crazy glue instead of adrenaline. I mean, that is a scary cut, as you just said. You need to capitalize on his mistakes. I want to see that counter hook. Make him pay for his mistakes. Round number five has arrived. Not much action as he just ties up. Holmes is able to avoid that punch. Good counter punch. I loved how he moved off to the side and landed it. Yeah, that's real smart. That's something that you teach in the gym and you love when you see it executed. Way into round number five here. Right. Holmes is doing well here with that two punch combination. See, that's what you want from his left hand. That's exactly what it should be doing, that left hand by the assassin. Italy Klitschko's corner with a sigh of relief now that they look at their fighter and they see that he survived that one dangerous moment. And the reason why they have a sigh of relief and they have a little confidence where they know he's going to be okay. I've seen this trainer in the gym. I see how he teaches. He shows him how to do things in these kind of situations, how to survive, how to move his head, how to get through. Final 10 seconds of this fifth round. Able to dismiss that body shot.
end of the round is upon us, and we have a fighter in front of us who just looks gassed. He looks tired. Now, Teddy, what can he do to overcome that when this fight starts back up? Well, first of all, this is where you search into those corners that you're not forced to search, kind of like when you were a kid and your mother told you to clean your room and go into those little nooks and crannies where you never knew there was dirt. Now you got to start looking into nooks and crannies inside yourself, places you didn't know were there before. You better find them. You better find them. Find them quick. Punches, okay? Use your speed. Double up your punches. I want to see cops. I got more. All the eyes are on him to start this round. Vitaly Klitschko's legs look just a little shaky, but keep in mind, he barely survived that last round. No, but keep one other thing in mind. I agree with you, Joe, but he's been here before. He's very experienced. If anyone knows how to get out of this, he does. Nice. <laughs> Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counterpunching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. through this round and miss that uppercut. by Holmes. The assassin's making this like artwork here. I mean, his defense is just a masterpiece. Well, that's the way it's supposed to be, actually. You know, the, the sweet science. It's not supposed to be about going in there and eating punches. It's supposed to be about going in there avoiding punches. You know, finding a way to hit your opponent without him hitting you. He understands that. Able to connect by Vitaly Klitschko. Focus. Last 10 seconds. <laughs> and that round comes to an end. And you know, I've turned to you many times throughout our careers broadcasting together and said, why is this guy not throwing punches? I just don't get it, Teddy. Well, there's two reasons usually. One is he's not in shape. In this case, I think he's in shape. He doesn't want to throw. I know that boggles your mind, too. What do you mean he doesn't want to throw? You're thinking to yourself, he's a fighter. He's in the ring. He knows that he has to throw punches. But if he throws punches, he also has to put himself in a position where the guy is going to throw back. That means he has to take more chances. And some guys would rather not take those chances. Another round, and if it keeps up with the rest of them, It'll be closely contested and hard to score. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. The assassin's proving to be elusive. Able to land the hook to the head.
blocked by Holmes. At the halfway point of round seven. <laughs> Keeping his hands up, getting rid of his opponent's offense. is just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. Stuff fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Vitaly Klitschko. <laughs> See, this is where you can get into trouble against Vitaly Klitschko. If you allow him to land with that left hand consistently, it's going to be a tough night. We count down the final moments of this round. Bro, bro, punch, okay? Don't walk into him without throwing a punch. I walk. It's been a good looking fight here as we start round number eight. The assassin's done a good job. He's got the lead on your scorecard. However, he has gotten hit tonight. Teddy, he could use to sharpen up that defense. Yeah, well, you know what he's doing wrong? He's giving opportunities. That's a good point, Joe. He's giving opportunities to his opponent because he's covering up, putting those earmuffs on too much. And when he does that, he handcuffs himself and his opponent's taking advantage. Unable to make an impact there by Vitaly Klitschko. Vitaly Klitschko's work rate is impressive, Teddy, but his connect percentage is not. Now, there's two reasons for it, Joe. One is his opponent. His opponent is pretty smart, man. You know, he's not just standing there saying, hey, hit me. He's moving. He's being smart defensively. The other thing is the punch is a little too wide. He needs to shorten him up a little. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. There you go. In and out. In and out. Ninety seconds to go, halfway through round eight. Get out of the way from those punches. Move your head. Just misses with that headshot. <laughs> Vitaly Klitschko constantly trying to rid the ring of his opponent with a right hand. 
Nice defense. Good block by the assassin. Clock counting down here in round number eight. Ten seconds to go. Vitaly Klitschko's making for a very inviting target right now. You can see the blood around that eye. The cut is obviously worse than it was just moments ago. And that's the end of round eight. You know, Teddy, I'm looking at that cut as he's in the corner now, and it doesn't look good at all. Do you think he thinks he has to go out there and try to end this fight? Not only does he think it, I think he's right. I think that he probably has very little time left before the referee or the doctor is going to stop this. And he needs to be thinking that way if he's not. Let him breathe. He's hurt. Get him in this round. You have... Good action here tonight. Both guys bringing their best. And both guys meeting each other stride for stride, punch for punch. Tough fight to score here as we're back underway. Work the body in body shot. Oh. Scores with the combo to the head. Good return fire that time. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Solid right by Vitaly Klitschko. Keep it going. He just missed that shot up top. The Assassin's crushed by a big right hand. Vitaly Klitschko's gaining momentum on his side. Halfway through the ninth round. The Assassin's punch is far off the target. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. He missed by a mile. That wasn't even close by Vitaly Klitschko. Oh, what a whiff by Holmes. The assassin's been able to avoid having any of his opponent's headshots landing get flush. Out, and what his opponent has to do, Joe, is make an adjustment. What we used to tell the fighters, when a guy's elusive, like this fighter is right now, you have to shorten your punches up. Shorten them up a little bit, have less space to travel. They have a better chance of getting to that elusive target. It's over. He's tired. He's got nothing left, okay? Here you go. Just go out. for the head. Knock him out. It's done. Listen to me. You get caught up. You get caught up, and you're fighting this fight. I got more. Back to fight action as a new round is underway. Of course, in that last round, it was fairly one-sided. He was hit pretty hard, 
and now he has to overcome that here. Yeah, you don't have to be Notre Dame to know that. I mean, everybody saw, you know, he got staggered, his knees buckled, did a little dance there. But what you have to really know now is know why you got hit and correct that immediately. Keep working the jab. Halfway through round 10. The assassin's showing us a little something behind the curtain right here. He's revealing something about himself, and that is that he wants to survive a bit. He is clinching more than we've seen before after being stunned. And Joe, if we're seeing it, guess what? That guy in the other corner, that guy that's facing him right now, he's seen it too, and that's bad news for him. Holmes is almost out of it there. He was stunned. Eddie, he went from being on the edge of the cliff to now climbing back up the mountain. Well, you know, that's where you want to know if a guy recovers fast. Obviously, he has the capacity to recover very quickly. He's still not moving enough. Move, move. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. And round 10 Don't comes to an end. He's hurt. Get him this round. There you go. Listen to me. Your best defense is to throw more punches. You need to throw more punches. That will keep him away. You got any more of these? This time. Okay. Look. Hey, shoot more blood? Yeah. Hard to believe we're in this position as we look at Teddy's scorecard to start round number 11. It was only a few rounds ago. It was a much bigger gap on your scorecard. Yeah, well, he understood. He came to terms with himself. He knew what he had to do. Now it's up to his opponent. Does he come to terms with himself? Does he start doing what he was doing early in the fight? punch from his opponent well blocked by the assassin the assassin's just being very hesitant right now offensively his first thought since being stunned in this fight is protect myself protect myself it's like he's turned the off switch on his offense yeah but you can't do that the lights go off it gets all dark there you have to find a way to still have that light on you know find the window find the window of opportunity somewhere they are out there be creative seconds to go in this 11th round.
see ya. You are done. Out of here. Fight over. One punch over. Well, he only went down once. Unfortunately, he stayed down. Holmes is flattened here in our main event. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us, everyone.